So today we're going to learn about three different types of pinch pots that we can turn into cactuses. So the basic step for everyone is we're going to start off with a ball. We're going to roll it to make it nice and smooth. And then we're going to start with our thumb and put it in the middle, like so. And we're going to pinch all the way around to make a nice bowl shape. While you're working on your pinch pot, you might get something like this. These are cracks. Your clay likes to naturally stay in a clump like this. It's happiest when you're in this state. When you're starting to pinch and pull, it might start to crack, and that's okay. You can squirt it on either side and use your finger to smooth back and forth, and you should get something really nice and smooth underneath your fingers. So go ahead and make sure that your pinch pot is smooth on the inside and on the outside. So there's two types of cactuses that start off with just a basic pinch pot like this. And then if you're wanting the long, tall cactus, it's gonna be a little bit different. All right, we're gonna roll it into a ball. And the reason that it's hollow on the inside is because it can explode in the kiln if it's too thick. So a lot of the times with these um, cactuses, it's really thick here. Most of the clay is in here and it's like, my finger stops right here, so this big chunk would explode in the kiln if we don't take care of it. So I'm actually, you could stick your thumb or your pinky, and I'm gonna stick way inside there. Make this kind of tall. Probably gonna get like the height of your finger, and then you can just manipulate the clay into getting it to the right size. I'm gonna start smoothing right, So once you have your pinch pot smooth and ready to go, you're ready to attach different pieces. But before you attach, you need to know how to join clay. The first step, score. That's when we're gonna rough up the texture. Second is slip. That's when we're just gonna dip a little bit of finger on, water on our finger and smooth it around. Stick is when you're gonna stick it together. And smooth is when we're going to actually smooth it onto the piece. So say it with me. Score, slip, stick, smooth. Score, slip, stick, smooth. Good job. Hopefully that will stick in your head as we begin this project. So for the first one, I'm going to add the ridges. Those are going to be those little bumps that go all the way around. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little extra clay. Yeah. Everything starts with rolling it into a ball first. And then I'm going to make a coil that's going to be about the length of my hand. Nice and even like that. So I want it to go from the center of my cactus all the way to the bottom. All right. So now I need to score, which means taking a tool like this, it's gonna go right here, and I'm just going to, it looks like a hashtag, you're just gonna rough up the texture of the clay so it sticks, smooth, stick, and then smooth. And smoothing is something that you can do with your finger, like that. And you see where the seam goes away? So here I can see there's two pieces of clay and here it's smoothed over so it looks like one piece. Now if you're having trouble with your fingers, you can always use a tool like this. is a little sharp, but this might work. Or I just press it down like this initially and then I smooth it back with my finger like this. So the clay is pretty soft. I'm just gonna support it with my finger here so it doesn't go anywhere because this is pretty soft clay. All right, so we've got a ridge right here. I'm just gonna go on the other side and smooth it and then I will show you the extra details. So continue with this process all the way around and I'll show you what I'm done. So I just got done finishing my ridges so I did that same exact technique over the whole thing and you can tell that these are uh, seamless so you can't see where one piece of clay ends and the other one begins. And then I just felt like I needed a little fun like little flower sprouting from the top so that's the same techniques as this uh, attaching um, just a little different. All right so again remember when we're attaching things score, slip, stick, smooth. So the next one is the same base, it's the same pinch pot shape, but we're gonna add these fans to it. And I've attached a second one growing here. So this is really fun. So again, same as all of our other techniques, you're gonna start in a ball. And then because this is a fan, I'm gonna just smush it a little bit to kind of get that round shape. Now I know that the bottom part needs to be flat so I can attach it here. So I might smush it on the table a little bit. So I have this curved shape here and this flat shape here. And then I'm just gonna play around with where I want this to go. Maybe over here, maybe over here, like this, that looks good. All right, and so I'm going to score the area. It kind of looks like a hashtag. Slip, stick, and then smooth. So I'm gonna support it on the inside and then use my finger or a tool to smooth this 
down like this. Remember, both sides need to be smooth because I got a little too much water there. And once it's attached, you can kind of work around where you want things to go. Now, if you want to have the second edition, let me show you what to do. I'll probably get a smaller one because it's a growth. So it'll be a little bit smaller. Same technique, ball, smoosh. All right, flatten on the bottom. You can flatten with your finger, flatten it here. And it's gonna not grow one on top of the other like that. For some reason, it likes to grow this way. So I'm gonna skinny this up a little bit. And I'm actually going to tear it a little bit. I don't know if you can see it at that angle. And notch it right here and attach it back. So this is a little trickier to smooth, but you can go in, I might need a tool for this, and smooth in all those connection pieces. And I realized I did not score or slip, but this technique, you can skip those. But you've got to smooth or it will fall off. So I'm just gonna go around here. All right, keep smoothing, smoothing, keep supporting. And you got a nice little growth going. All right, you can maybe do another one, but that's kind of pushing it. Just make sure that it still stays strong going up like that. When you're done with this one, you can add texture. Uh, you can add lines coming down like that, or in some cases, students like just poking holes. So it's not stabbing it, but you can take something like this and roll it around to make big texture spaces. Just make sure that you're supporting the inside of the clay or you're gonna smush it. You can have some here too. Just be careful. This might be better on day two of making it while the clay's a little bit stronger. Students, we're on to our last type of cactus. And just a reminder, when we join clay, we score, slip, stick, and smooth. We're gonna say that until you're saying it in your sleep. All right, so this is our last pinch pot that we made. Um, what I did is I put my finger way here and I kind of smushed it around. I wanted it to be tall. You want this to have just about this much clay on the top. So my finger goes all the way to about here. If your finger stops here, this whole chunk of clay is probably gonna explode in the kiln because it's too thick. So just double check, I don't know if you can see in there. It goes pretty deep and I'll come around to make sure that you're okay. So on this tall one, um, I've seen students do the ridges like this. But what I'm gonna do is make some arms that come out here and then probably out here too. So let me show you how I do that. Everything starts with a ball, and we're gonna make pretty much a large coil. It starts like that, and I'm just gonna roll it back and forth like this till I get the widths that I want will match this. I think that's about right. So I'm gonna bend this up, kind of check to see where I want this. It's gonna go something like this. Now, this is, um, not flat. So whenever I want to attach things, I want to make it kind of flat like that. Kind of gauge where I want it to go. And then I'm going to score it. Just kind of a little water. I'm going to call that the slip part. And I'm going to stick it. And I'm going to support it on the inside while I do this so it doesn't collapse. And you can either use your finger or like I said, a tool. And blend this together so it all looks like one piece. And you really want it thick here and a little bit thin here because if it's thin here and thick here, it's going to fall off. So it's kind of like a counterbalance weight. So there's a little science in there for you. Let me make sure this guy's smooth. All right, now I think I'm going to make another one coming off over here. Maybe a little, a little bit smaller. So it starts off as a ball and then we're just going to roll it back and forth slightly. Just a little, a little arm. I think right there. Oh yeah. All right. So make sure that this part is flat. A score right here. A stick. And remember, support it from the inside so you don't smush the whole thing. And you want it a little bit higher. All right. And then you can smooth it out. So once you get the basic shape, feel free to add any extra details that you want. You'll have pictures of cactus, real cactus at your table. 
All right, you can still kind of bend them around if you want them. So that's my guy right now. But I want to show you some student work that did a great job. So um, this is one student's work where they did some really great ridges. We're still working on smoothing a little bit. They ran out of time to do a flower on top. This still looks great. And then this is a student that did these shapes right here. They had time to do this, and they did a really cool texture all the way around. I was pretty impressed with that. And then this one is like what I was doing with you guys. They drew in the ridges instead of making them, and then they had these little guys spread out, which is really fun. And this one's kind of a hybrid. It was that tall one that they did the actual ridges for, but they did it with the arms. So that's a wrap. Can't wait to see your cactuses.